What an amazing day. Whew. Look at that. <laughs> oh, it's just fantastic. I'm going to go ride. Unbelievable, perfect day for lunchtime ride. Was this number four? It doesn't matter. We're just going. Oh. Oh, so thankful. It's basically a perfect day. Truck. So I have been trying to get out. We've had like little rain stuff going on, but when lunchtime came, it was just time to go. Everything is perfect. Thank you God for days like today. So uh, all around problems, riots, protests, political tensions, uh, bumps in the road, literally and figuratively, and I'm going for a ride. It is true. Riding a motorcycle is very, very therapeutic. And I think if you rode in a place like this, it's even better. Look at the ridiculousness of this canopy. So down the road, I do go. Where I stop, I don't know. But I do pray you are all well. I have some things going on here at the house. Today is engine day. Yes, I'm working on the little fairing project. It's cute, it's fun, it's gonna take forever. That's okay, it was supposed to. It's not supposed to be a get done quick. It's supposed to be a take your time, make it right. It's not for wind deflection, it's purely aesthetic. <laughs> I'm just that way, kind of weird. And uh, I spend countless hours massaging things with fiberglass and steel until they look perfect. So I'm gonna work on it, test it, shape it, fit it, but engine day this is what's important on engine day an engine is delivered it doesn't happen very often these are very rare moments very rare events rarely do I ever have an engine delivered but living here I've had two I had one for a go-kart and now one for a lawnmower does it get better than that it doesn't it does not get better. I'm going this way. We're going to roll. Heading south. Let it roll, baby. That's the meat. So on engine day, the engine is delivered, and the shiny and the new is appreciated. There's an install process. Hopefully everything lines up and it works. But hey, it'll be my first owned riding lawnmower. I've never owned personally a riding lawnmower. My dad had one, of course. I used it a lot. I've had practice many hours on a riding lawnmower. However, in my adult life, now, nah, push mowers. That's how I roll. <laughs> a lot my father-in-law, you know, he like said, hey, take this one. Need some work. So I worked on it. Engine was broke new engine being delivered. I'm so excited though. New engine. 20 horsepower Kohler 7000 series twin cylinders. Brownsville. Monoscotney. I'm gonna go see what's going on up over here. Oh what a great road. Route 44. Oh, this is fantastic. Giddy, 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 giddy up. So great day just to kind of let go on this lunchtime ride. It has been a horrible few weeks, few months so far. So it's good to play in the curves. 
Oh, it feels so good. There's Mount Escutney. Look at that beauty. There's a road right to the top of that thing, right by that antenna. What a great lookout. So yeah, I'm kind of a nerd. Having a lawnmower engine delivered and I'm excited like a kid. You know, it's interesting to think though that that stuff's all gonna be gone. The whole gasoline engine thing, everybody's gonna be using electric soon. <laughs> Here kids, come learn how to change oil. Why, Dad? <laughs> Why? Oh, how about air filter? No, no, no air filter. The butcher and pantry's open. Look at that. I wonder when parks are supposed to be open. If I go up to Mount Escutney, man, I'd be giddy. Junction 44A, right here. Right here. Literally right here. Park. All right, gates, yes, no? Let's see. Slow down, Charlie Brown. Uh, just checking. I was just checking to see if it was open. It's not. Obviously, it's not open. I think the 750 is the perfect balance for me. I do get seduced by the 1000. Only, here's why. I never wanted a 1000 because they historically have been beasts. But to get this, and it's, you know, around 450, and then to find out I could get a 1,000 that weighs the same, and in some cases, less. Isn't that tempting? That you could have that much power with so little weight? The flexibility and handling of a light bike, the power of a giant bike? Oh, it's so tempting. That's like the perfect formula. That's what hot rodders do. How beautiful is that? You take the tiny and you put in the big motor. Simple formula for speed. Okay, so the question is, do I do north five? No, we're gonna take 44 back because it's windy and it's fun and it's awesome. And it makes me smile. Beautiful day for a walk. See, I'm not the only one doing a lunchtime something. People are out for lunchtime walk. It's just as valid, just as good, probably healthier. They're not polluting, like I am. To the left, to the left. Remember the song by Nitzareb? <laughs> Remember that? Big turn, sweeper. We need weight transfer, kids. We need weight transfer. Get on it. Oh, I just love the way weight transfer works and feels on a sport bike. That's probably why I'm I'm really curious about a GSXR 1000 because there are times when you just want to play in the turns, and when you're in that lean, that's the position you want when you're riding like this. It's not the best for long distance, of course, but it's the right balance for this kind of riding. Turn. Oh, it's so cool. Ooh, big turn. Big turn. Uh -huh. And then this is my favorite final turn. It's a huge drop off in a mid turn. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the ride. Thank you for the moment. <sighs> oh, Route 44. Especially right at the end there. That's the thing. Ah, oh, stretch, stand up, get it done. All right, back home, back to work. Hope your day is fantastic. Hope you're safe. Hope your family's safe. Give everybody a hug. And pray for this country. 
And oh, like I've always said, if you get a chance, go for a ride. God bless you guys. Peace.